All right. We need to go save a woman who has been kidnapped and taken away against her will in a Fire Emblem game. I know. I know. That narrows it down so much. There is no meme. This is just a threat. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Meow. Meow. Sorry. Every time the graphics do that, I'm taken by childlike whimsy. <clears throat> At one time, the Macedon region was ruled by the Delunian Empire. One hundred years ago, the whole continent was controlled by the Dragon Tribe, who sent numerous slaves to these underdeveloped forests. The slaves were forced to excavate ruins and construct the country. Many people could not find food, were forced to work, and died from abuse. Amongst such tragic conditions, finally one youth stood up. His name was Iot. He and his companions escaped the forests and fought, riding dragons, to continue the battle of liberation. After Deluna's fall, the slaves established their own country at these rich and newly developed lands, and the heroic Iot was encouraged to become its first king. Afterwards, the Kingdom of Macedon was feared as the land of Dragon Knights, and that's how it was born. But what does this have to do with the fact that Minerva's kidnapped now? Uh, game, I don't know if this is the best time for a history lesson. However, this strong country not only lost its Prince Michaelis, said to be the second coming of Iot, but now even the Crimson Dragoon, Princess Minerva, has been lost. Damn. Well, uh, you remember how last map was tricky because it had three Wyvern Riders? Yeah, how about like ten of them? But we'll worry about that later. Julian, Catri has finally brought the Altean Knights here. I'll go with them to rescue Princess Minerva. Please take Lena and hurry to safety. That's impossible, Paula. Miss Lena's gone missing. I'm not leaving just by myself. Lena's also... Princess Maria has also vanished. Why are the clerics the only ones going missing? Anyway, I'm staying to search the village, so I apologize, but I can't help rescue your princess. Oh, it's alright. We should be able to save Minerva by ourselves. But, Julian, although I know you're worried about Lena, don't push yourself. <sighs> I'm sorry, Paula. Say hi to Prince Marth for me. And here we go! So, um... This map... is... rough. In the sense that it's it's a little challenging, not that it's bad. So... There are three object- a few objectives here. One, this village over here. But, you know, that's not too bad, it's literally right there. Second, get to this village here. I'm not gonna spoil who you recruit in that village. But given that we just watched Julian go into that village, you might be able to make some assumptions. Third objective, conquer this castle of the traitorous General Rook. Ruck? Hmm. So, the way that we have to go is all the way over here, then all the way up here, while being hampered by these Wyvern Riders, then go all the way over here, rendezvous with Paula, and then go down here. You might notice that there's a bridge here, but it's locked. Unfortunately, there's just no way to open a bridge. I certainly don't know of a way to open a bridge. It's just stuck. What do you think, Warren? Do you know some way to open a bridge? It's just not possible. But before any of that malarkey, we need to deal with the Wyvern Riders. They have 10 move, but they do not move if... They don't move unless you are in their attack range. So, it's time to do the old bait strategy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
So, here's how we begin. We put Lind right here, armed with Aura. It's not... She's not going to double, and she's going to be absolutely at death's door. But... But... Uh, Aura is going to do a lot of damage. So... Everyone else, just get the heck out of the way. We're going to look right here. Yep. That strategy is going to work. That one's going to work. Perfect. Let's get Roderick a bit more over here. And then we'll hit the end turn button. And we can see Lind in action. Yeah, like I said, taking a lot of damage, but there's a reason we were given Lind right now. Paula is thankfully able to handle a Wyvern Rider pretty much by herself. Alright, well I didn't quite mean that much by herself, but... And Katria, while not quite able to handle one by herself, can come decently close. Ooh! Alright, um, so apparently Katria is just God. Apparently Katria is God, and I was wrong for ever doubting her. Okay. Now, ideally, we have... Let me just make sure here. Uh, mm-hmm. Yep, okay. Um, I do want Lin to get the kill. So if we just attack with Nosferatu right here... That will kill. She'll get healed. And then we'll heal with Melissa. Perfect. And then over here. Staff, heal, you. Ooh, our first healer level up. Strength, speed, and weapon level. Sure. Actually, about as good of a level up as you can hope for. Alright. I do not want Katria to keep getting kills. But I also can't put her somewhere under the assumption that she's not just going to crit it to death. So we'll put that right there. And lastly... Let me look at the thing that I literally just looked at. Alright, perfect. Hollow's going to go over here. Oh! I should probably mention Paula. Paula is one of the strongest units in the entire franchise. Period. I would like to bring up the fact that in Fire Emblem 3, all non-HP stats cap at 20. I would like you to look at those bases. Her stats are insane. She's level 10... At chapter 3, with stats close to capping. And this might also make you think, wowzers. What? Does that mean maybe she has bad growths? No. That would be the world where Paula's not absolutely insane. Also, holy shit, plot. Rook. A coward like you wouldn't dare to do something this big. Did Harden fool you with his fancy words? <laughs> you... How are you still? You thought I was dead? <laughs> Never mind. Give Minerva back to me. 
I don't care about this country anymore. You can do what you want with it. However, I will not rest until I've dealt with that guy personally. That guy? Relative of that man? From Guilty Gear? Yes, but Princess Minerva has already breathed her last. She cannot be saved. Don't waste my time. Hand her over now. Or do you prefer to die by my lance? Okay, okay, I understand. Jeez, dude, come on. I'm just a little guy. Hey, you, bring the princess here. Minerva, it's been a while. This isn't like you at all. Losing your precious Maria, and even being abandoned by your men. Is this really the perfect country you want? Jeez, dude. <laughs> She's been beaten on con- like, beaten, everything taken from her, and your first thing you do is mock her. Come on, man. I'd say he's better than that, but he's not. Anyways. Michaelis is alive. A plot twist that's kind of not as important in a world where people know that already. But, I mean, holy shit, right? Okay, so I definitely really should have remembered to use the Vulnerary, but maybe she'll dodge an 87. She did not. Alright, now I would really like it if you don't get this kill so I can give it to someone else. All right, there we go. Is that too much to ask? All right. So. I need to finish off this guy. Because if that thief is allowed to get to the village, then Julian is just lost. Level up for Paula, strength, skill, weapon level, and HP. And you... Yeah, you can almost reach it. That's a little scary. Alright, so, step one. Have you go over here. Um, you don't need to use Aura... But we have powerful weapons for a reason. To use them. Unfortunately for you, Mr. Macedon Knight, I literally have God's Holy Light on my side. So, um, get that. Skill, luck, defense, more accuracy is always fine by me. Or no, does skill do accuracy in this game? I can't remember. Anyways. So this guy has 15 HP. Let's, um... Let's not get too big for our britches. Because, you know, trust me. My britches are always very large. Alright, there we go. How do I wish to proceed? Am I actually just giving another kill to Gordon? Well, who's the weak? You're the weakest shot that I have. I do not remember. Yeah, 23. There we go. Now he's down to 5 health. Um, what is your defense, young sir? 13. 50, okay, we're, we're, we're doing this game again. Perfect. Sent Cecile. Got an extra point of strength. When she throws this, if it connects... Now, Luke is going to be able to get the kill. And this is actually somehow his first level up. I don't know how things have just kind of happened like that, but... They just kind of happen like that. Or God has abandoned me. I meant to say this was actually Draug's... Well, that's first level up, but... A level up.
and okay. Um, actually, this was Roderick's big day. He doesn't have enough damage to kill. All right. Uh, Gordon, I guess. Or, yeah, Gordon. Sure. Really how we're going to have to do this. Ah. Uh. Should have just given the kill to Catria, honestly. Alright. So now I'm free to start moving forward. Now, going back a bit. You might be... So the way that the map is intended is for us to go all the way around. However, I have a secret power known as Fuck That Noise. Because with the bridge key that Warren has... Fuck. Paula might be in a bad shape because I forgot that vulnerary. I... I might be in really dire straits. Do you do five damage to Paula? You do four. You do zero. Perfect. Now, with that established, Paula, you're going to fly over here. You're going to attack. And this guy's just going to be wiped off the planet. There is going to be nothing left of him. He, his obituary will be one sentence. I don't know who this man is. Okay. Now, we do have to worry about old Ballista over there. Now, finally I can get back to this without, um, forgetting. Uh, who was injured? Someone was injured. At least I think so. Other than Paula. Like, I know Paula's hurt. Drow. Drow is the one that got hurt. Uh, Drow's a big boy. He can handle it. So if you are wondering, why don't we just move forward, kill the things here, and then have this super short and easy path? Right there. Mathis. Everyone's favorite. He will just run up and kill you, because running up and killing you is apparently his claim to fame. Mathis has to be recruited with Julian, who we can't get to unless Marth gets over there. But Marth can't get over there through here, because if, it's, if that happens, we'll have to fight Mathis. So we need to go all the way around here. Unless... Unless we just don't kill him. Unless, through my own incredibly intelligent elite gameplay, we don't kill Mathis, and then we just send Marth over. Now you might be asking yourself, Man, Steve, that sounds difficult. Not for a god gamer like me. Because those game designers realized, wait a minute, if Mathis just comes up and kills you, kills himself on you without counterplay, that sounds obnoxious. He has a javelin, which means unless his AI does something astronomically stupid, he will not go up and kill himself. He will always attack you from a distance. Right, very good for Paula. Level up number two! 
Skill, weapon level, and HP. Alright, player. Now, this is where I gotta be careful. Kala, you're going to move right there. You're going to use a vulnerary. And there we go. You will now heal once your turn comes. We'll move Katria. She needs to be what? One, two, th one, two, three. Three spaces over. Warren? You're going to use that bridge key. This will trigger all four of these Cavaliers to come down. Thankfully, it will not trigger that Dragon Knight. The Dragon Knight over there will only show up if we go into his attack range. It's kind of why he's positioned slightly more to the right, just to make this whole interaction that much more difficult. However, we do possess the blessings. Gotta make sure... Mm, Alright. We possess the blessings of our own cavalry, guest starring Marth from the Devil May Cry series. And with all of that taken into consideration, we can take care of everything not named Mathis. And once we kill that ballista, we don't have to worry about being attacked by anything. Then Marth can go up to the northeast, we can recruit Julian, and then we can just get the hell out of Dodge. However, it will be a while of Mathis just hitting himself on us. And that will be difficult to deal with. But difficult is not impossible. Just gonna be annoying. All right. Get him. There we go. And then Mathis is gonna come up and try to attack Iran from a distance. Lena, where are you? Even just once, I want to see you before I die. Mathis, you're a good guy, but you gotta fix, like, the everything about you as a person. Alright. Now, Paula doesn't get the benefit of the fortress because she's a flyer. In, in the sense that she doesn't get the defense and dodge buff. But what she does get is the recovery. And the recovery is way more important than anything else. I guess I could, she could get the, um, the defense buffs if I dismount, which is something to think about. But yeah, I think the intended design philosophy is once Paula deals with the thief, She's supposed to flee and regroup with Mart's squad by flying down here. But instead, she just solos everything. Okay. So step one. Twelve. Yep, okay. We'll just remove this guy. Very, very nice. Level up for Katria. Skill, speed, defense, and HP. That defense increase is really nice. That's usually where she struggles. Alright. Just gotta make sure... Alright. We're good. I need to move Marth as far forward as God is willing. 
which means... Hmm, level 6, level 5. Lind. Attack with thunder! Holy shit. Very good. Luke, wherefore art thou Luke? Right here. Alright. Surely you won't miss this time. Nice. Now Luke can enjoy his first level up. Defense and HP, more bulk. Uh, sure. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. You have a javelin? No, you just have a steel lance. Alright. Is diagonal up from Katria a problem? No. Alright, Marth is good to go in that direction. Um... Draug can move up there. You can move up right here. In a pinch, our archers can be tanks. Okay. Do you have who has the vulnerary? Was it Marth? Yes, Marth has two of them, in fact. Uh item trade. Give your frontline fighter some juicy juicy drink. Just gotta make sure, no matter what I do that I do not anger him. And I have it. Perfect. Roderick, you can move over there. Um, I'm gonna try to see if he's gonna wanna move up to attack Warren. Maybe Mathis'll be a little dumb. And let's continue getting experience on Malisha. Um, and Cecil, you're fine to just stay there. Alright. Enemy, more Macedon arrived. I might actually need to have Paula move soon. With the Rapier, I believe I Mart will kill him on counterattack. Yes. Alright. And... Okay. Now, as long as Mathis's AI doesn't do something obnoxiously... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's perfect, even. But, yeah, I'm thinking it's about time that Paula is allowed to leave. It's very funny that all peg sign knights are just Sheeta. With, like, Katria, you know, Katria's hair is also blue. So, like, the Sheeta sprite, even though Katria doesn't have long hair, it doesn't, like, you don't immediately notice the problem. That's very clearly not Paula. It's very funny, because that's, like, she's supposed to be pa uh, Sheeta. And Sheeta shows up soon, I believe. Chapter 5? Chapter 4? No, I think she shows up next chapter. I, I think. Alright. So. With this now established. We'll have you move over here. Have you wait right there. Have you wait right there. Alright. And then have you move down. Okay. That boss is 100% made for Lind to go kill. So I'm going to have Lind go do that. But for right now, Marth... Get over there. Um. Okay, I do have to watch the bridge a little bit. 
Item, use the vulnerary. Okay. We're on our way to getting Julian. We'll be fine. Completely, 100% fine. Just gotta make sure I don't aggravate this guy. Actually, wait, I think I want to aggravate that guy. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm actually fine with aggravating this guy. Specifically, if it is... Sure, Luke, why not? We'll be fine. Alright. Macedon just has more horse people. Okay, you've chosen Ryan as the weakest link. The horseman is riding towards Paula. Oh! That wyvern rider didn't move. Could have sworn he moves. Well, um... Alright, sure. Um... I, I guess that's fine. Uh, Catria. Well, if they just don't move, then Catria should theoretically be safe right there. And I'll just have Paula be preemptive for this one. Paula can snowball very quickly. Alright. Very cool. Now what? Oh, right, of course. Let's get his ass. Damn, why would Altia... I'll send you to your graves. Die! Alright, all Lin's gonna need is just two turns. And this chump will be change. Actually, no, I think it's gonna be a little more than two turns. Yeah, because he's gonna recover with the, the castle, right? And, yeah, so... Okay. Let's move you out of there. And move you... Down. Okay. If Mathis's AI functions... Like, I'm gonna move Gordon over here... And Cecil right here. And lastly, Warren's going to go over here. And Aran down here. With this, Mathis can only attack Draug, whose 11 defense will let him just shrug things off very easily until Militia will need to intervene. And then Roderick with the Rider's Bane can come up here... And just help with the horseman problem. If it continues, I don't remember. I don't remember if it's endless. I'm pretty sure it's endless. Alright. Okay, so he's doing that. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Fine. No, that's, that's fine. Mathis's AI is forever an enigma. Oh shit, her thing broke. That could be, that's bad. That, that's, we're gonna need to... 
We're gonna need to help you. Yeah, because uh, with a broken lance, it's gonna be a lot harder to kill anything. But it does look like... Um... You know, it looks like... Mathis can be solved. I'll just have to... I'll have to fix that. Alright. Um, and then if we just dismount... I'm pretty sure Apollo will still be fine. She can still kill them even when she's dismounted. That's insane. Strength, skill, weapon level, HP. Has she increased speed once? I can't really tell because she's dismounted. By the way, even when dismounted and she becomes a generic swordsman, look at those stats. Still more than fine. Alright. Lind... Just keep hitting him. This map gonna be done easy peasy like. Perfect. Now we gotta fix the Mathis problem. So we're gonna heal up Ryan. And I guess we're just gonna put everyone back. Alright, sure. I mean, I guess if that's how you're forcing me to do this. One of these days, my understanding of Mathis will be much better. But that day is certainly not today. Alright. Hit and end turn. Is Macedon still going to arrive? Yes, it is. And you're going after Ryan again. Makes sense, because with Ryan, you can and will uh, just kill him eventually. This is so funny. <laughs> like, Paula's just winning the game. All on her own. Alright, Marth, are you able to reach the you're not? Alright. So here, here's a plan. Paula, you go over here. Katria, you swing on by here. Uh, Roderick, you move towards here. Making sure you got that Thar Rider's Bane. And then Marth goes right there. Which will buy us the time that we need. And we'll just block these endless reinforcements. I'm getting tired of them. Lind has leveled up. Strength, speed, weapon level, and we got the Taurus. The Altean Knights. Truly impressive. Yes. So, what is the Taurus, you may ask? Well, the Taurus is a Star Sphere shard. Star Sphere. Star Sphere. Star Sphere shards are used to beat the game. You need to collect every single one of them, or else the last, like, fifth of this game does not happen. 
They are, like, if I remember correctly, it is 12 Star Shards. Eight of them are just on the in the inventory of either units that you have to mandatorily recruit or on a boss that you have to kill. Okay. They also... Oh, gotta go to this village real quick. Your Highness, it's been a long time. It's me, Julian. Julian? Even though I heard you went to Mastodon with Lena, I didn't expect to see you here. Is Lena well? Of course, and she's with you. Hmm, <laughs> about that. Well, Miss Lena suddenly disappeared. I... What should I do? Huh? Wait, Julian, what happened? Miss Lena vanished yesterday. I heard from the villagers that a nasty-looking bishop came by. It seems Miss Lena was taken by him. Bishop! Julian! I heard Princess Maria has also gone missing. I have a bad feeling about all this. Anyway, staying here won't achieve anything. You should come with us. I'm also worried about Lena. We can help you look for her. Your Highness. Thank you. Alright, we got Julian. Ju oh, he has Lena's men staff. I forgot that cute little detail. Alright. Julian is more important than you could possibly imagine. Specifically, Julian is one of four characters that it is mandatory you have in your army to beat the game. Ah, uh, it's weapon trade. Well, weapon trade you. You have to have... God, it's Julian, Merrick, Minerva, and then a mysterious fourth gentleman in your army to beat the game. Not necessarily beat the game, but to get the true ending. Um, it's not like the Star Sphere Shards. The Star Sphere Shards genuinely block off chapters of the game if you do not have them in your inventory. If you don't have those four characters in your party, uh, it just affects the ending. But you can still beat the game. Now, as for why that is, well, you'll see. Julian is a thief. His stats are good, because thieves' stats are good. Um... Okay, so now you're going after Cecile. Good, alright, good. We seem to have cracked Mathis. Um... Trying to think here. Oh, right. The Star Sphere Shards that I had mentioned earlier. They also, in addition to you needing all 12 of them to beat the game, you will get bonuses to your growth rates for having them in your inventory. All Star Sphere Shards increase your growth rates by a whopping 40. 40% 40 total. How they do this depends on the Sphere Shard. Um, for example, the Taurus increases one, two, three, four, five, all eight growth rates by 5%. Some of them, um, I think it's the Leo, increases strength specifically by 50%, but decreases defense by 10, you know, to get 40. They aren't, like, they're really cool. It's part of also why I don't like FE12 as much, because FE12 is really cringe and dumb. And instead of giving growth rate buffs, instead, 12 gives stat increases, like slight stat increases. Like, instead of a 40% strength buff, you'll just get plus 2 strength. And that's boring as hell. Alright, 
Gonna heal up you. You're level 3 now! Skill luck weapon level! So! We can finally get Julian over to Mathis. Ow. Literally, I think it's only going to take him one more turn. Now, unfortunately, I am not able to just win as soon as that happens. Because I gotta go over here. And, you know, there's village dialogue. I like my village dialogue. Alright, now we're hitting the end turn button. We can fast forward to this now. Alright. Cecile, show me what's in this house. What's going to happen to Macedon now? First, they said Prince Michaelis died, then Princess Maria went missing, and now Princess Minerva has been captured and her life is in danger. Oh, this country won't become like Grust, right? I mean, like, there's always a chance. Alright. Who has your, uh, Steel Lance? Was it, uh, Ryan? Who? Oh, no, it was Cecile. All right, well. Well, he's gonna need that back. Julian! <clears throat> hey, that was uncalled for. Why do you always keep picking on me? If you continue like this, you'll make Miss Lena sad. Oh, it's Julian. Are you still clinging on to Lena? No way. I'm not handing my cute sister to a thief like you. Don't worry. Lena and I aren't that close. I just want to help her any little that I can. Oh, I finally understand. You're really cool, Julian. Well, I uh, never expected to hear you say that. Never mind. If you're worried about Lena, come with us. Oh, really? Thanks. I was forced to join the rebels. I didn't really want to fight. Well, little brother, let's join forces to find my cute Lena. So basically, when Julian's like, oh, no, she and I aren't like that, he's lying. <laughs> they, they are. Mathis' sister is Lena, that's Julian's sweetheart. Julian has mastered the art of heterosexual flirting. The secret is even though you're straight, be a little fruity with it. Mastering that, he has gotten Lena to fall in love with him. Without Est, the Pegasus sisters have become really lonely. I'm a fan of their triangle attack. Oh, Est, please come back soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now I'm just going to be hitting the fast forward button. Because I'm just running over to there. That's it. The fast forward button on my totally real Super Nintendo. Not long ago, there was a traveling paladin who visited here. He was wearing a mask, but I bet he's a really handsome person underneath. He was very gentle, but he seemed very sorrowful as well. <sighs> Will I see him again? Damn, girl, you just saw Camus, not Jesus. I mean, a mysterious person whose identity will not be revealed. Alright. Almost time to end this. The village! Your Highness, thank you for rescuing this village. We don't have much to reward you with, but please take this silver axe. It's a very expensive item, so it should fetch a good price in the shops. Woo! Now you might be thinking, Oh, well, why would we sell that? That's a really powerful weapon. Surely we should just give it to whatever axe unit we get. Let me, let me clue you in on a little secret about FE3. You'll notice how it's Chapter 3 and we don't have an axe unit yet? Well, the axe unit in FE3 comes never. You do not get any axe unit in, the, in this entire game that you can use. Um... There are, you know, Axe units, we fought them, but they are just purely enemy. Weapon, trade, over with you, you take that silver axe. S like, um, board, cord, and barst? Not in this game. 
Thoros not here. Um, is there an axe unit in FE1? I'm forgetting. Board, cord, Doros, Barst. Yep. Uh, heroes in this game also don't use um axes. 100%. Nothing. Silver axes just exist to be bullions. You sell them for 5,000 dollops. Yes. I would like to buy. All right. Two irons, like three steels, a javelin for good measure. Maybe throw in another steel. There we go. Now with all of that done, let's get the hell out of here. I, I think maybe moving over here triggers those guys to move. And since I just didn't fuck with that path. Things went easier. Oh, shoot. Hold on. What if this village has a neat little tidbit for us? I'll tell you a secret. That armory seems to have connections with the rebels. If you're going to visit it, be extra careful. I sense I've made a mistake of some kind. Oh. Oh, right. That's what triggers them to move. Well, I'll see you later. Jagan, how's the situation at the castle? Have they found Minerva yet? Right, about that. Although the enemy has fled, there seems to be no trace of the princess. Hmm? Why's that? Minerva should have been taken here. Your Highness, General Lang appears to have arrived. I wonder what kind of nonsensical request he's going to give us this time. I should have expected no less from you, Lord Monk. Very impressive. Good work. Leave Macedon to me. Your Highness, you have a new mission. General Lang, what is it this time? Well, my castle was attacked, and the captured Rusty and royal children appear to have been taken. The culprit seems to have escaped Macedon, or to Macedon. Your Highness, you will chase after them and bring back the royal children. What? Really? Those children? They're safe. Oh, that's great. General Lang, I will not follow your orders. We're going back to our own country. What did you say? You're going to disobey my orders. So you were behind it. I knew it! What? What do you mean? The one who escaped with the royal children was Agma, the Talus mercenary. He once served under your highness, correct? It was you who ordered Agma to escape with those two. I don't know a thing, but if I could, I would have done just that. Since that time, when I couldn't rescue the two, I've been deeply regretful. Even if I must fight you, I will still rescue them. What? Your actions are treasonous! Do you want me to inform Emperor Harden about this? Go ahead. We're planning on going to Pales anyway. We will inform Harden and Nina of the truth and of your crimes. Jagan, I'm sorry, but I can no longer stay silent. I want to find Agma so we can rescue those children. I understand. You've had to stay patient for so long, and I've also reached my limits. Lang, you have constantly mocked our Prince of Altia with your actions. Even if his highness could forgive you, I certainly could not. Come, draw your sword. Even though I, Jagan, am old, I will not lose to somebody like you. Damn you. will not forgive you for this. I'll inform the Emperor and turn Altia into dust. Mark my words. Nothing like threatening someone as you're running away like a little bitch. Ha! <laughs> he fled fast, despite his big words. He should be pretty far away by now. Jagan, you really surprised me. Couldn't believe he would say something like that. Think I'm too old? <laughs> Your Highness, I won't lose to you youths just yet. That said, even I, who persuaded Your Highness to stay calm, got into a dispute with Lang. I was too careless. What should we do next? Hmm. Well, we should go find Agma. If Lang was correct, he should have come to Macedon. I bet he's probably headed for the village of Wendell's residence. Even though I'm worried about Minerva, there's nothing we can do right now. We should go and meet Wendell as well. Understood. Uh, but I wonder about Lang. I hope nothing bad will happen. Now.
What? Pissing off an envoy of Emperor Harden? No. No. No way, man. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Alright, there we go. Chapter 3 is done. I don't want to blow anyone's minds, but what comes after Chapter 3 is Chapter 4.